open up. You open me in. Bet you won't leave me in. We should be close friends. Good afternoon. It's Nisi Rachel. And y'all, I've been doing my um Capri Curse Fitness program. And so what I'm doing is um you know, eating better, and then Monday through Friday, there are workouts that she has, and today is week three, day one, and um, I actually do see a change in my um, my waistline. Um, my issue is the eating, so like, um, I don't do well with getting up and eating breakfast I'll get up and drink a coffee but I won't actually eat until like noon and that's that's literally when I come on to talk to y'all I literally come on to talk to y'all at noon every day like that's why you always catch me and I say good afternoon because it's never it's never morning when I come on here I never come on first thing in the morning um, even though I get up early, like I get up at like eight and I'll fix my coffee and I'll drink my coffee and I won't eat until 12. I don't know. I think the coffee fills me up, but, um, yeah, so that's kind of messing me up. I feel because technically during this program, I'm supposed to eat six meals a day. And if I'm not eating my first meal until 12, I'm maybe eating three meals, maybe, like that's a big maybe, so um, I don't know, I don't know what to do to make myself eat, because I, I'm not hungry when I wake up, like I've never been a breakfast person, and whenever I do eat breakfast, I, I either get sick, or like, I won't eat at all, so I don't know, um, maybe if y'all have some suggestions on how to get those six meals in because I, I'm struggling. I mean, even if I could just get the three basic meals in, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I would be happy, but I'm it's, I'm struggling, like, really, really bad. Then my freaking face broke out again. Um, so I realized that it was not the hair that was in my head that was causing me to break out, which makes, hurts my heart because I could have had my twist in a little longer. It was actually the edge control I put on which is crazy because I used to use this edge control all the time it's the main choice edge control and I've never had a reaction to it so I don't know you know you get older your skin starts to change and so when I used it the other day when I took my um my braids out and um kind of slicked my hair back with it all of this like behind my ears broken out my ears broken out down my my jawline like I don't even know why I'm I think I'm broke out on my neck because you know you touch here to scratch and then you go and do like this and, and now you're like transferring the product but all of this was broken out y'all and like it's definitely not as broken out but I don't know but I just seen this cute little style on Instagram I'm definitely about to try it because I think that's really cute they're gonna focus focus okay so no can you, I hope y'all can see it but um so it's braids and bantu knots there we go so she has a braid on the side and then I think it's like three or four bantu knots across the front of the head and then there are two braids going up the back of the head into two more bantu knots so i think i might try that today and um i also i bought an aloe plant so i think i want to make some aloe gel today so i will definitely like come back when i'm doing that so i can show y'all how i'm doing it but um since I'm on like my health track, I just wanted to show y'all my um my lunch slash dinner that I'm gonna be eating. So it is 
garlic parmesan chicken and red potatoes um, all I did was I cut the chicken breast into um, inch pieces and I cut up the potatoes and um, I added um, grated Parmesan, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, um, extra virgin olive oil, chicken broth, salt, pepper, and I think that's all I put in there. Yeah, I think that's all I put in there. And then, of course, um, once it was finished, um, you just let it cook on high for um, two to three hours in your crock pot. Or you can cook it on low for um, four to six hours. And um, after that time is up, you go ahead and take the shredded Parmesan and place it on top of it and let it cook for another 10 to 20 minutes and you are done. So um, I found it on Pinterest. But I went ahead and did that so that I can have like a, a quick meal. And I'm going to go ahead and make me some more broccoli and mushrooms to go with it. So that way I have a full meal with my veggies and my um, chicken and potatoes. But here's my aloe plant, y'all. So I, my great-grandmother used to always keep an aloe plant on her front porch. And honestly, I don't remember it being this sharp. Like, these things hurt. Let me turn the light on so y'all can see. These little sharp pieces right here, these things, I stabbed myself so much um, in the store that day trying to get the plant. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to find a little recipe, a recipe. I'm going to find, a, um, go on YouTube because YouTube has everything. And I am going to figure out um, the best way to make my aloe gel um, because... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to get back to what I used to do with my hair when it was natural. When I first went natural eight years ago. And I know y'all looking at my head like eight years ago. If you are an OG subscriber, um, you know how long my hair used to be. I keep cutting it. But when I first went natural, I went natural in 2012. And um, I did a big chop. Like my hair... My hair was a little shorter than this when I went natural the first time. Like, like how my, let me see, how does it feel? How my hair looks right now is probably how short my hair actually was when I went natural um, eight years ago. And when I went natural then, I didn't use a lot of store-bought products. A lot of the products I used on my hair was products that I made myself. And, um... So, I think I want to get back to making my own products. The only thing I never made myself when I first went natural was my own gel. Like, my moisturizer was handmade. Um, and then, like, when I would deep condition my hair, I would make my own deep conditioner. Like, I did not buy that stuff. Because I was young when I went natural. I was a senior in high school. So, like, I didn't, I wasn't working nowhere. <laughs> I didn't have no extra money to be going to the store buying all this extra stuff. The only thing I would continue to buy was shampoo because I wasn't the only person in the house buy, wearing, or wearing, using shampoo. So that was easy because it's like, okay, well, we need shampoo anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm about to experiment with some stuff. And um, I'm going to take y'all along on the journey with me. So my first thing, I'm definitely um, about to go ahead and try to make this gel now. So that I can do try to do this style today because I need to do something to my hair. I'm tired of looking like this. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't like to. It's not that I don't like to wear my natural hair because I love my natural hair. But when it's in this little stage right here where it's not as long as I want it to be, and I can't, I feel like I can't do a lot with it. I'd be annoyed and I'd be ready to put something in it. Like, I'm telling. If this little style don't work out. Um, I feel like my face cleared up enough for me to put my little wig on. That's another thing. I am so bad with, I'm a whole esthetician out here and sometimes I, I don't, I don't do well with my own skin knowing that it is sensitive, but 
when I get it back right, I be glowing. But right now, I just, I don't know. I think I've been trying to do so much with my hair because I don't have nothing but time, y'all. Being a non-essential worker sucks right now because I have not been working. And um, it's a struggle. It really is. And I can't wait to get back to doing what I love to do. But for now, I will um, sit and continue to make y'all videos and um, experiment. <laughs> so um, I will come back to y'all once I find a, a DIY that I like for the aloe gel. And when I come back we will be making the gel so that we can do the hairstyle really quick okay okay guys so um i watched a couple videos figured out the whole aloe vera gel process and it's really easy so um i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'm gonna show y'all my process while i'm doing it i do need to go ahead and wash my blender because i just used it to make a smoothie so i want to clean that and then I'll show y'all the process of me cutting and um, removing the gel. And um, the only other thing that they say you can do if you want to is add um, oils to it. So like your grapeseed oil, canola, not canola, oh lord, um, olive oil, um, all of that good stuff. And vitamin E, you know, different things to help with the hair growth process. So I am going to go ahead and wash my blender first and then I'll be back and show y'all the rest of it. Alright, so I have my aloe vera plant. I, I got it out of um, Freshville Farms. I think I paid like a dollar and some change for it. I don't know. But got that. I have my jars. Just some mason jars that I had laying around then I have my stocking so that I can strain the um, the um, chunky pieces out and then I um, have a mix of oils that I put in this um, wild growth hair bottle because I don't have an extra bottle to use all my bottles, my applicator bottles and stuff are at the school and I don't have time to be trying to go get it. So this is just a mix of oils that I put together. And um but yeah, so let's get to it. So I don't I don't know where I can sit y'all so y'all can see. focus in huh. so that's it cut up and I wanted y'all to see the the gel from it but it looks like it's so freaking dark okay so you can already see the gel so um let me just go ahead and finish. Oh, Lord. Okay. So now that I've cut it into pieces, the thing says, oh, well, I need my blender now. So now you need to go in, take your blender, and you want to remove the skin from the aloe vera plant. So... 
I'm gonna do that, but can y'all? Yeah, y'all can see. So they said start with the front, the curved part, and that's how you know your front from your back on your aloe vera plant. The front is curved. I don't want to waste any of my gel. And so I seen one person take it and kind of like slice it before they put it in here. And I guess that just helps break it down a little faster. Look at it. It's just so much. Like I said, I am going to go back and grab my pieces and make sure I scrape all my gel up and off of it and into my blender. I'm not even going to lie to y'all, this feel like snot. <laughs> my blender and basically what it said what she says is to not blend heavy so I'm just going to do like a, the chop and I'm just going to do it slowly because I don't want it to over blend So here's the, the aloe vera gel and with my oils and I'm just pouring it into my little jar. But y'all can tell it still has its slime to it so it's not going to, um, it's still going to be the right consistency to give me the slick I need for my hair. Yep. All right. And that was me making my aloe vera gel. So now I have my own hair gel. And I won't be buying um, Eco Styler <laughs> because I can make my own now. Alright y'all, I will be back when I start doing my hair. 
All right, y'all, real quick, I just want to show y'all my lunch. I have garlic parm, chicken, and red potatoes, and I have some broccoli and mushrooms. And, um, yeah, I'm going to have a cup of water with it because I've had coffee already today. So I'm trying to drink some water in between. But I just want to show y'all my lunch real quick before I um, ate it all.